So, what can... Wait, you know Lin? Why am I not asking you why you know Lin? Don't question it. <laughs> okay, so what can I help you with? Uh, um... Give me a high five. Lude. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Whoa, what was that? I'm <laughs> glad they included that. <laughs> I could head back what? to work right now, but I've actually got a pretty good opportunity here. <coughs> Boxers has a clothing store here in the mall, but ever since our legal run in six six months ago, they haven't let me in and me or any other Abadabadabadon employees into the store. But now I can shapeshift into someone who isn't a known Abadabadabadon employee. Ah. Uh, um, let's see if I can find out anything at this clothing store. Huh, this place hasn't changed a bit. They've still had the same old stuff from months ago. The decorations haven't even changed. Looks like they've got new staff, though. Yo, look at this girl. Wait, no, I know this girl. Oh, this is this is the uh, this is the character from the person that I found this game through. Uh, yeah. Shit, what's her name again? It's... Uh... One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. Un momento, por favor. Oh no, momento, por favor. He es nido el baño. It's, um, uh, I think her name's Mercy. Mercy? From Overwatch? No. From huh? the Sins webcomic. Uh huh. Well, she's pretty cute. Oh, she's also pretty cute. It is Mercy, wow. Ru yep. Yep. Ruth, that's a... Uh, do you want to know their lore? What's the big lore? So they were abducted by uh, celestial beings of, like, fertility. They are both dudes that got turned into girls. And, and that's they're, they're, they're in a competition to uh, see who gets pregnant first. Mm -hmm. But they're best friends, and they don't want to, like, really beat each other in, like, an act. Like... Like, not, they're not com really competitive about this thing. Neither of them really wanted to. Eventually, mm -hmm. Ruth gets uh, help going back to a guy, and they fuck, and they just have a kid together instead. So Ruth gets to say a guy, eventually go back to, like, uh, being whatever his fucking name is. I don't fucking care. I like Ruth better. Big blonde bombshell. Mm -hmm. Man, what a tremendous story. Oh, I guess you can't see the scanner on... Or maybe they didn't animate no. it, or I mean, draw it. No, there's a scanner. Yeah, they have like, cause they're uh, they go, they eventually after you know their competition, they get jobs as being people that go and help, uh, fix gender pending. Uh huh. <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> that they're in here. <laughs> like, Sounds like quite the lore. It's the literal op. They're the they're the mortal enemies. They're the, they're the anti dino. <laughs> All right. Uh. Uh. Mercy, this whole town is weird. Just switch your scanner off, or it's going to be beeping this whole time. You could be Mercy. Okay. Oh. Just do a normal voice. If you just let me shoot everyone, we'd be fine. It's so much scarier with a normal voice. Nice outfit. Outfit? Oh, right. I'm wearing a bunny suit. <laughs> How can you just forget that? You're wearing something like that. I bet you'd look great in an outfit like that, Ruth. Not this again. So, how long have you two been working here? Uh, I want to answer that. Right, so you're new then. We're not new, we're experienced professionals. Professionals. Yep, we're the best in the business. Uh-huh. So if you two just started, you wouldn't have noticed any changes around here? There's no point hanging around and interrogating rookies. It looks like Boxers was once again trying to save money on their operation budget by hiring bottom-of-the-barrel college dropouts and paying them peanuts in wages until they burned out and replaced them with new ones. 
Wow, that got a little real. Yeah, that's... I that mean, got a little way too real. I mean, have you not noticed what, like, Boxers is in this game? It's the homage to just, like, shitty business practices in general. It's like we're going to uh we're going to just have one of your people steal your own data and sell it to us and we're going to keep denying it and you won't ever ever get a the mm -hmm. honest answer out of us uh we're going to just take everything you have and do it slightly better so we could say we're better than you uh we're going to pretend and make it so that our employees also pretend for us that our workspace is like the best ever but it's not and we hate them if we could replace them with, like, mindless drones, we would. Why is this game, like, trying to push an agenda? I don't know, man. I, I just want to watch the boy with how he could be, be a girl and have big boobs. Oh, oh, oh well, you're, there. you're the one that wanted to play Russell. <laughs> That's what we get for the... playing the two, like... That's what you get for not wanting to do the fucking wool voice for three and a half hours in a row. <laughs> That's why That's we're right. not I doing the fucking Lin Wow. Oh my god, fuck. Oh shit. shit. I forgot. I actually <laughs> honestly forgot. <laughs> god, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a, a serious amount of alcohol to do that. Like actually. Yeah. Can't wait. It was a tactic box has been using for years, and it was a big reason as to why they had such a high staff turnover. When you had hiring Damn policies like that, you often this? end up with oddballs like these two. I don't know. Rather than stand around Whatever. wasting time with these two lunatics, I made my way back to work. I had a mission. Okay, so let's run through the information I have here. Boxers used stolen data to lure me into a trap where they attempted to use transformation gas to turn me into a big breasted skank, but their plans backfired. The thing is, we haven't ever used transformation gas in our kimono clinics. It was way too unstable. Hell, we'd only used it in our initial transformation chamber prototype, and that was built after Boxers stole all our data. For memory, we ended up selling that transformation chamber to Max Art Studios so they could use it to rebrand their boy band. Because they really just sucked super bad. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe no, they Boxers were like... stole the transformation gas from there and are using it for nefarious oh, they purposes. Were like... They were like equal with the fucking Elementless. Or maybe Max Art Studios and Boxers are working together? The boxers director and Jane seemed pretty chummy before, so it's possible the two of them are planning something big. Hmm. No, people Need around Dinah can't be Max evil. Art Studios and find out why they're doing, what they're using our transformation chamber for. Security's tight there; it's not going to be easy. They stop stalkers breaking in all the time. Honey, you still ah uh, fuck? I don't know his voice anymore. Uh, just, just, honey, you still down here? Yeah, I'm just uh looking at some spreadsheets. <laughs> Appreciate that reaction. <laughs> Appreciate this reaction image. Why are you doing that down here? I have a perfectly good office upstairs, but I don't think I've ever seen you in it. You know what the worst part about this is? Is that if you look at like his eye light, right? He's looking like directly at her tits. <laughs> He's just like, holy shit, what are those? Not really. He is though. Look at no, his eyes. It's not. It's actually at like her face. Right there. Is it? Yeah. I'm I'm pressing X to doubt. I'm I mean, like, just use a ruler to like go. Like I'm like holding a pen. Right now, I'm I'm like vaguely feeling that it's just looking at her eyes. I don't. It's kind of in the middle. It's mainly because of his well. To us, the left, but his right eye yeah. isn't as down far it's, as... It's left. a little fucked up. He's looking at her face. I can still smell the stench of nerd down here. Nerd, it has a stench. Run away. <laughs> Filthy animals. I take offense to that. What, do you use I told you. I do. Good I'm job. Good job. Goku confirmed not one of those. Confirmed... Uses Old Spice. I just shower before I go out. I don't actually use deodorant much. I have deodorant in my jacket pocket in case I need it, but 
I don't mm -hmm. initially use it. Must be nice. What? Must be nice. What? Right. Taking a shower before going out. So yeah. you don't need to, like, use deodorant? I told you, I like it down here. It has the best air conditioning in the building. I've just written a new business proposal. Can I get you to read over it before we head home for the day? Nadine, I've told you a hundred times, we're not doing Abaddon Electronics 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, Abaddon Electronics is already a thing. It's just now it's rebranded. No, it was Abaddon Electronics X. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a Roman numeral 10. So it'd be 11. Oh. So what's your new idea? Well, you know how our most practical kimonos are cats? People are obsessed with getting anything cat-related physically morphed to their body. Personally, I like the foxes more, but yo, I will admit, cats yo, are popular. Yo, Russell, my man. But the thing is, we only offer two products for the cat audience. They can either get cat ears or a cat tail, but nothing else. Kimonos are permanent, so they never come back for any new products. So I was thinking, how come, how can we come up with a new product for these super obsessed cat maniacs? What sort of cat themed body addition could we possibly give them? And then it hit me, a fucking truck. I'm isekai. I mean, cat paws. <laughs> Just isekai them. <laughs> <laughs> Just isekai them. I mean. Just they. Okay, here's what we do. They show up, right? We put them in the chamber. And instead of giving them cat ears, we just fucking kill them. Oh, <laughs> and no. take all their money. <laughs> Goku, no. <laughs> Goku, stop this. Yes. Goku, I'm going to have to be... I'm going to I'm gonna pull a fucking... I'm, I'm going to pull it up on you. I'm going to take you out to the back of the shed. Please do. And give you a shotgun to put to him. Like, what the fuck did I just... <laughs> just kill me. Kill me right now. Please. Nope, I'm gonna make you I beg kill you. Me. I'll be your bad boy. Only I'll if you kill me boy. first. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Fine. I'll. I've been a that. bad boy, Daddy, and I need to be punished. Oh, whoa. Now people can turn their hands into big fluffy cat paws and look even more cat-like. Working on a prototype down in the research lab, and they look super adorbs on cute girls. I mean, I wouldn't get. I, I'm not. I'm not a furry. Cat paws. Yep. Are you an idiot? <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a pretty great idea. I think the board's gonna love it. <clears throat> um... Are you an idiot? How are they gonna hold their beverages? That's not How are we gonna line. sell Abaddon brand sell coffee if they don't have thumbs to hold the cup? Say your line. Your actual line. Go back and say your act. I'm kidding. Don't You don't need to. It's great, honey. <laughs> I love it. You're so <laughs> smart. Your ideas are tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. I can hear it in your voice. Well, it just doesn't seem all that practical, does it? Like, cat paws aren't really that flexible. You'd be giving up your opposable thumb just so you could look slightly cuter in cat cosplay. How are they gonna how are they gonna hold a coffee cup? <laughs> Kids these days love sexy cosplay. And the more cat like they can be better the more cat like they can be, the better. Paws will be a well, how about you give them extra breasts like cats? There you go. <laughs> Give them 12 nipples. <laughs> or just change their actual eyes into cat eyes. Is it really worth giving up the ability to open doors just so you can be a little more cat-like? Do the paws at least have retractable claws? I mean, I suppose that could come in handy if you wanted to maul someone. That's about the only practical application I can think of. What about climbing a tree? Oh, sorry. They are retractable, and how are cat paws any less practical than a cat tail? Cat tails don't do anything. They just get caught in doors and make it so you... <laughs> Nadine, are you speaking from personal experience here? Could be. Part could be. See, there's an ideal idea. Why don't we go back to that original plan you had for a retail store and start selling specialty clothing for kimono users? We make a whole wide range of clothing based around skirts with tail holes. You, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. That's why I'm the idea person, and you're the chump. 
No, I'm... That's why I'm the one wearing the pants in this relationship. No, you're the cunt, and I'm the ideal person. <laughs> I'm still sticking to my idea for cat paws. Just go, keep go. Okay, I'm sorry. I took, okay. I took it away too long. Yeah. But kimono fashion sounds like a promising field. God damn it. <laughs> you I thought you were like fine with me skipping. <laughs> I know, but I thought you were. Gonna, I thought you were waiting, so I started. Again. <laughs> okay, don't skip this one. Yeah, I'll right, start reading. Just, just read the line. <laughs> Maybe I could do both. Make cat paw gloves instead. Then you'd be able to take them off when you need to use your hands. Come on, let's head home. We can worry about it tomorrow, you little idiot. Hey, shut up. Right now I'm in the mood for some quality time at home, if you know what that means. Let me write this idea down first. I can't remember shit for the life of me. You get to the car started, I'll be right with you. Again, that's why I'm the one wearing the pants. I will fucking make you Cat wear paws skirt. were a stupid idea. Shut up, this Russell. dumb bitch. <laughs> So, baby, how about I order us some pizza and we have a quiet night cuddling on the couch? Do me. Uh, uh. Hey, Put look, a shirt it's on. tits. It's tits. My god. Like this? I'm so fucking hot. Well, I am the most beautiful woman in the world right now. Wasn't I doing the snake voice for Nadine? Probably. Man, I don't know. I like the snake voice. I'm going back to it. Ugh, Any anybody tried to, like, make actual sense out of our fucking voices? Uh, we stopped caring a few episodes ago. <laughs> Linda's the OO voice. That's the, the only one that this. That's the <laughs> only one that needs to stay consistent. He's gonna get drunk that night. He's gonna fucking die. I'm gonna... Oh, so stop much. flattering me. I'm gonna have... It's true, though. I'm gonna have to, like, go out and buy, like, four fucking, like, liters of vodka. I will... And just, like, put them in my fridge at school. I will accompany you on this escapade. Mm -hmm. so... I don't think you will. What? What? Did you say you don't think I will? No. No, I'll... I don't want you to be drinking that much alone. I'll do it with okay. you, bro. Don't worry. All right. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. hey. We cool? We cool. We cool. Okay. It cool. So, why were you talking to the researchers about shape-shifting in the first place? I've seen Lynn do it right before my very eyes a few times, but I thought you weren't about to get... I thought you weren't able to get the syrups working on anyone else. Uh, it seems a little odd, considering just last week you were talking about how it was a waste of research money. Oh, uh, well, you know how the original prototype of the genetic infusion the chamber allowed shape shifting, but Dino and Lynn disabled it before handing over all their research. Yeah, and they're trying to feed us some bullshit about Japanese animatronic ears. Right now, people have to come in for a new appointment every time they want to change their kimonos to a different animal. And we make a fortune on this procedure. But, if they find a way to shapeshift, they can just change their animal traits at will. And never spend a dollar at Abadabadabadon Animal Years again. We need to find a way to inhibit shapeshifting abilities. And the only way to make that is to study how it works inside and out. That's why I had the research team turn me into you as a trial run. And judging from last night, you really liked their suggestion. Strange. Their research team didn't mention anything about testing research on you when I was over there. Earlier. Whatever. Extra word. Extra I never really thought about inhibiting shape-shifting to increase our profit margins, though. It's a good thing you're the one running this company. You're an, ab ab you're an absolute genius when it comes to stuff like this. Also bullshit. Right, you can bullshit you're an idiot. fucking range well. Yeah. So, how about you order the pizza while I find a movie for us to watch? Uh -huh. Ah. 
No, stay. No problem. Honey. Stay, you stay. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck back to Put me. Put it back. Ah. Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> ellipse. We haven't had an ellipses in a while. Dude, do you remember how many ellipses there were in fucking Dinah's route? It was like every other fucking set. Remember the day we, were, like... we had ellipses? Morning, sweetie. <laughs> Dean's so fucking self self absorbed. Oh, what? You shipped it back to your mail form. I mean, you're still ridiculously hot, hunky dude, but it's just not the same. Shape shifting is top secret research. I can't exactly walk around as you all at work all day. Why not? I don't get it. Tell me more. <laughs> Even though I was having a lot of fun messing around with my powers and spending time with my at home with Nadine, boxers were once again trying to run us out of business, and I was the only person who could stop them. I wasn't gonna let them steal the lifeblood from my company. I'd worked for years building this place from the ground up, and I wasn't going to roll over and let some bastard thieves take it from me. Except Jack was the one who actually made the company. I just was like an intern for most of it. Like, I don't... No wonder these bands are worth millions if people are prepared to pay that much. It's bloody insane. What the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> God. What was that? <laughs> we did it. We fulfilled the first part of I the I did it. I won the game. 